This may be what comes to mind when you think of a fraternity party. Rowdy guests, cheap booze, a sticky living room dance floor. My advice to you, start drinking heavily. But Washington has its own annual frat party with brothers and sisters who are a little older. Dinners more expensive than it was in college, $500 a plate, going to the Fraternity and Sorority Political Action Committee. Nicknamed Frat Pack on its Twitter page, the group was created in 2005 by legal and lobbying powerhouse Patton Boggs. It's contributed $818,000 to political campaigns, largely Republicans. That includes just under $30,000 for the chairman of the House Budget Committee, Paul Ryan. He was a brother in Delta Tau Delta at Miami of Ohio. Chairman of the House Rules Committee, Representative Pete Sessions, a pike at Southwestern University, got almost $25,000 from the PAC. His brothers in Congress include Texas Congressman Nicholas Lampson and Senator John Kyle. Pi Kappa Alpha is a pike at Southwestern University. Sessions is also sponsoring the Frat PAC's pet legislation, a tax break that would allow fraternities and sororities to use charitable donations to renovate chapter houses. It'll cost almost $150 million over 10 years. Congressman Steve Stivers, a Delta Epsilon from Ohio State, has signed on. Fraternities and sororities that provide important housing to college students don't have access to the same funds that the very university uses. We think it's a great way to make sure that our college students have great housing opportunities. I think we stand a good chance of, of, of passing it this session. The push started after a 1996 fire that killed five students at a UNC fraternity house with no sprinkler. But lately, the group has had to defend itself. As the toll from hazing and binge drinking has been rising, parents of hazing victims have called for a law denying financial aid to students involved in hazing. The frat pack argues the federal government should stay out of it. When the Department of Education told colleges to lower the bar for evidence required before investigating campus sexual assaults, fraternity leaders complained that would threaten student rights. That's according to an industry memo obtained by Bloomberg. Megan Hughes, Bloomberg, Washington.